Hi, this is John from PortableFreewareGames.com and I'm here to show you a game on the website. So if you go to your browser, and you type in PortableFreewareGames.com, I want you to choose the games option and scroll down to the bottom of the page, choose page 20. And scroll down the bottom of that page and choose the ninth option, the ninth game. This is it here, Halo Online, aka El Dorito. I want you to click on that wee image. And that'll take you to the download page where you've got a video for the game. You've got some information about the game. And you've got a download button for the game. Uh, a couple of things I should really mention. First of all, this is a 64-bit game. Uh, uh, it shouldn't really matter. Anybody that's really into gaming on the PC probably already has a 64-bit operating system uh, but it's just every other game on my website is a 32-bit uh, version uh, so you might run into some trouble there so bear in mind it's a 64-bit only game uh, another thing you need to know is it's 1.9 gigabytes in size so even with a really fast uh, internet connection it's going to take a few minutes to download so let's download this save and this is the file here that you'll download, El Dorito 0.6.1.rar. So it's a .rar file, that means it's a compressed archive, and you'll need a specific software to open it. Now WinZip and WinRAR are the two most commonly used softwares to deal with these kind of files, uh, but 7-Zip is a freeware alternative that I can recommend, uh, but I don't have to bother with it because I've got WinRAR. So let's open this file up and see what's inside. And this is the file here that comes out of Eldorado 0.6.1.ra. It's a folder called Eldorado 0.6.1. And if you look inside the folder, you've got all the game components. The, the game is just ready to run. Uh, you can play it right now as soon as you extract it. But what I recommend is putting it away somewhere on your computer, on your C drive, or your my, my documents folder or whatever. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to put it on my C drive and I'm going to my C drive and El Dorito and this is the main file here that you're going to be dealing with Eldorado.exe what I'm going to do in that is I'm going to right click that create a shortcut and put the shortcut on the desktop so it's now ready to run and this, this RAR file with El Dorito, the El Dorito in it I would just put that on a flash drive or burn it onto a disk to, just to keep safe and keep it out of the way. Uh, so let's have a look at the game. The game just starting up. As you can see it looks like the other Halo games in the Halo series. Uh, even the soundtrack's the same. And it's a pretty well made wee game actually. Over here in the left hand corner, you've got a server browser, let's click on that to see how many servers are available right now. There we go, 73 servers available right now for a game, for a multiplayer game. And the options down here in the bottom left hand corner, you can host a multiplayer game if you like. You can host Forge, uh, local games over a local area network. Customization, that's an important one. You click on customization. And then player name. And uh, just give yourself a, a name. A lot of the other settings won't let you in, it won't let you join a server if you've just got the, the default player one name, emblems, you can change your emblems, whatever you want, colours, 
background colour, the colour of your armour, and a lot, a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to show you a two or three minute clip of uh, Halo Online gameplay and you can make up for your mind if it's something you're going to like. Uh, I, I can't play it right now because it's a 64 bit game and I've only got a 32 bit operating system. Uh, so I've, I've got gameplay from another source and I've added it to this video. Uh, let's, let's, let's watch this.